Oh my gosh. Yo, what's poppin'? As you can see, I am walking on a lake. So, yep, we're doing some ice fishing today. I'm actually fishing with my buddy Steve, and we're just kinda after whatever bites. I've never fished here before, but he assures me that there are, in fact, fish. We're doing all plastics today? Yeah, I don't have any bait. Last time I ice fished, I had this little red honeyworm on there. I'm just gonna start with that. That being said, I've got a bunch of different plastics that I'm looking forward to trying. Honestly, I haven't even bought bait this year, so I don't have waxworms, I don't have any kind of live bait, and I have no real intention to using it. Because the last couple of years, whenever I use it, I feel like all I do is just catch small fish. So I'm trying to catch bigger fish this year. That's the goal. So I figured maybe plastics, a little bit bigger, bulkier profile might help. The other thing is it's extremely gray out today. There's a snow cover on the ice. So in my head, I gotta believe that there's no light penetration down there and I'm thinking that a plastic might actually help our odds it'll vibrate more and stuff like that I don't know it's a theory I'm not good at ice fishing I can't say whether that that, that theory holds true but it's a theory you got one you're the first one on the board what is it oh my gosh dinky gill there's definitely a lot of fish investigating this thing the question is should I switch plastics I haven't even had one hit it yet it's whiskey or nothing up in Oklahoma beer up here just won't do 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 <laughs> Okay, this I've just got a standard tungsten jig on here. So I picked these up from Discount Tackle the other day. It's a little Big Bite Baits Ballsy. Several companies make this exact bait, the same exact mold and everything, but it looks really good and I'm pretty confident it'll catch fish. I'm gonna start with a pink one. I also got some red ones, which I'm, I'm more confident in red, but I wanna try the pink. I mean, shoot, it looks like something a bluegill would eat. Oh, I hate when they do that. Dude, he came up so fast for it and then he just turned and went back down in. Oh, he smoked it. I give you. <laughs> team Dink! Team Head Dink. away, Steve. That's how I get the other team, right? You should honestly just take my YouTube channel over now because I can't catch a fish and you can. You know what? I just thought of something. If we can't catch fish, that hill over there looks glorious to slide down in our sleds. Oh, cool. Steve's about to go live on Instagram. We had good perch here. Oh my gosh. Well, they're coming way high for it, but they're not going <gasps> to... Come on, please be. Please be willing to eat. You little piece of garbage. I am going to cry. I'm gonna bite off a little chunk of this plastic. Maybe it's just a little bit too big. Maybe a little too intimidating for him. I'm not sure. Just downsize that profile just a tiny bit. Yes. Oh, what is this? What do we got? Ooh, oh my God. Thick, Double, juicy, baby. thick, juicy, Double. beautiful. I love these fish, man. They're so pretty. See you, buddy. There we go. Oh, dadgummit. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Man, he pelted it. I think he's still down there. He might come back for it. He's coming back for it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Do it, do it. Oh, yes. No, man, I didn't get a good hook set. Something tells me that might be some small gills. We'll see. There we go. Oh, that's, that's big. That's big. What is that? Big old perch. Dude, that's a nice one, man. Man, I tell you what, I should probably be keeping these fish because that would be a beautiful little fish taco someday. I gotta get a picture of this guy just because I love their colors. I love those orange fins, that bright, vibrant yellow. Yeah, he's 10, 10 and a half. I'll take fish like that all day. Man, he just chomped it too. All right, buddy, you're beautiful. I'm gonna put you down a different hole so as not to spook any other fish. That's going on Instagram. I'm gonna be Instagram famous. This is the little bait that's worked for me so far. This is a tiny little Big Bite Baits Ballsy. It's a pink color, as you can see. On Discount Tackle, I got them for like a buck 50 for 10 of them. So I figured why not try? I tell you what, I'm having fun out here. Even though the fishing has been pretty slow, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with the fish that I have caught. And I'm excited to keep fishing because I'm thinking we're gonna catch a big one today. I'm thinking we're gonna catch a 12 inch perch. I don't know why I think that, but I'm thinking that. In other good news, I made breakfast burritos this morning and I'm gonna eat one. Mmm, bacon, nom 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 nom. Whoever catches the bigger fish, the other person has to take their sled, their ice sled, sledding down that hill. No! Why do 90% of my bites end that way? Me yelling no and not having anything hooked. There you go. I bet that's a perch. He bit so soft. Oh, it's a gill. He's all wrapped in my transducer, but hey, first gill of the day for me. Ow! I just took a piece of metal straight to my knee because I'm an idiot. Six and a half inch bluegill on the board. Okay, this whole kneeling thing is not a good idea. Ouch. How about a little, oh, whoa, 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 we got something down there. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm just doing the little sorority squat right now. There he is, sorority squat for the win. What is this? What is this? Slab daddy perch. People don't usually refer to perch as slabs, but I'll take it. Just a beautiful fish. Not very big, smallest one of the day for me, but still, if we're gonna go to a big fish competition, it's based on length. You know, perch is gonna be a lot longer than any gill, so that's good. Eight and three quarter inches. 
Squat it out, boys. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no. No. Oh, 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 oh. No. Time for the good luck burrito. Gotta keep moving and checking new spots. Seems like the fish have kind of shut down for a little while. Hey, he just gave me a salami and cheese sandwich. My life is just like so good right now. I'm sorry I didn't give you a burrito. Oh, I missed one. I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of my bread. It'll bring me juju. There we go. Man, that was the lightest bite ever. Little tiny perch. All it took was sacrificing like a really tiny piece of the bread from the sandwich. Definitely a dink, but I'll take them. I'm gonna take this as an opportunity too, mostly because of the salami sandwich that I was given for free. But I'm gonna take it as an opportunity to shout out my buddy, Steve. He actually works for Berkeley. He just hooked me up with some Nanofill, high vis green, he knows me too well, and uh, some more Berkeley Fireline Ultralight Carrier. This is like a smoke or a kind of a black color. Maybe these will bring me good luck in the future. I don't know, but I appreciate it. Shout out to Berkeley. Appreciate you, Steve. Maybe I'll go live with Steve one of these days on Instagram and we'll, do, we'll talk about working in the fishing industry. That'll be a, a good topic. I know a lot of people are very intrigued. I don't know what I gotta do, man. Things have really shut down. Maybe I should switch plastics again. It was working and then it just stopped. I am so exhausted right now. I just walked all the way back to where we started fishing and literally Steve texts me as soon as I get here. Oh, I just popped a 10 inch crappie. Of course, of course. He catches a 10 inch crappie as soon as I get over here. He's still in the lead. It looks like I'm going sledding today. That's okay. I'm losing my mind out here though. Like I've gone without catching a fish over the last like hour, hour and a half. It's been rough for me. I've had some bites, but they just pop it and drop it so fast. I do like these little plastics that I picked up. They work well, but I'm going to put something else on because they're not really working anymore. So I don't know, whatever. I just hit something super big. I don't know what this is, but it is a very large fish and I'm nervous to get my transducer out. I gotta keep tension. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This has got to be a big bass. This has got to be a big bass. This is a tankzilla. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked to see. Oh, it's a pike. 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 Oh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, I'm on the side of that ice. It is a pike. It is a pike. It is a pike. Oh boy. He don't want to give up. It's a mule jig in the freaking mouth. Look at that. <laughs> hey, Steve. Mule jig in the mouth, dude. Look at that. All right. Can I get a boom shakalaka? Thank you very much. I think I got the big fish, boys. Paid off. I got to show you the plastic here in a second. Shout out to my buddy on Instagram, BFS Junkie. He hand poured me a plastic. I put it on my jig. I get a freaking pike. What? <laughs> That's awesome, man. Good fight. Yeah. <laughs> Great fight. Okay, I tell you what, I'm super stoked right now. I can't believe that this tiny little jig in plastic just caught that nice healthy pike. That was literally a beautiful fish. I wasn't recording when I first hooked into him because honestly, I'm almost out of battery on my GoPro and I just haven't had a bite in so long. So I figured I would wait until I kind of find some fish again. While I was on these fish, I was seeing a bunch. They were coming up, looking at my jig, but they would turn away. All of a sudden a fish comes in, smacks it, and my drag just starts screaming. And I'm like, uh-oh, this is not a bluegill. This is not a perch this is not a crappie this is something big i'll link his instagram below but bfs junkie on instagram he uh, reached out to me several months ago and sent me some soft plastics i saw these the other day and i'm like man that actually looks like something that should work in the ice and so i bit off just a tiny little portion of it put it on a 164 ounce black mule jig and boom, a freaking giant pike. The mule multi-species challenge, we just got yet another species, man. And we've only just begun. Like we're not even, uh, what, a month in and we've already caught however many species. I'm stoked, man. It's gonna be a good year. I'm feeling it. It's gonna be a real good year. There's another fish. <laughs> so the same plastic that just caught that big old pike just caught this dinky little gill. I think that's the first bluegill on the mule jig this year. Mule multi-species challenge. Let's go. Oh, see you, buddy. Okay, so we've got black crappie, largemouth bass, pumpkin seed, creek chub, brown trout, northern pike, and bluegill. That's 2021 species caught on a mule jig by yours truly. I think we can get 20 species, maybe 25. I know a lot of people have suggested to do tip-ups, and eventually maybe I'll get into that sort of thing. I, I would like to do it at some point, but man, I tell you what, you can't beat catching a fish like that on a little dinky rod and reel like this. 
Okay, time to go sledding, and then it's time to go home. What a weird day, what a weird day. I've been out here for a long time, only caught a handful of fish, but at least I got a big old pike, man. I'm stoked about that. I'm actually really excited right now, Steve. Bam! Sledding's fun, man. I might have to go for another run. Oh, God. 